I'm Cindy Arenberg seltzer President and CEO of the Children's Services Council of Broward County. Welcome to another edition of Future First, Focus on Broward's Children. Even as the overall economic picture may have improved over the last few years, millions of working families continue to struggle to make ends meet. Here in South Florida, where much of the economy is based on low-paying service sector jobs, thousands of families can barely meet their basic economic needs. For years, the CSC has led efforts to educate the Broward community on the leading national anti-poverty program known as the Earned Income Tax Credit, or EITC, which is available for people who work but earn low wages. Together with other dedicated community partners, the CSC has supported the expansion of volunteer income tax assistance sites, also known as VITA sites, where EITC recipients have their returns professionally filed at no cost. In large part through these efforts, EITC returns in Broward have increased by over $542 million into the pockets of Broward County residents since 2002. During tax season, VITA sites are operated by the Internal Revenue Service and other partners such as Hispanic Unity of Florida and the Community Access Center and are staffed by IRS trained volunteer preparers who've been recruited by Hands on Broward and reflect the broad diversity of our community. Joining me today to talk about the importance and the real economic impact of these public awareness efforts are Maritza Michaud, IRS Territory Manager, Ingrid Ekblad, Senior Program Manager at Hispanic Unity of Florida, Magali Prezo, President and CEO of the Community Access Center, and Kathy Wint, Director of Economic Development at Hands on Broward. Welcome, ladies. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks for having us. Thank you for being here, and thank you for your commitment to Broward's working poor. 